Epstein Island. Uh, no. Believe the science. Uh, no. 15 minute cities. Uh, no. And CBDCs. Uh, no. Gates is good. Uh, no. And GMO food. Uh, no. Big Pharma wants help. Uh, no. And government's help. What's up, everybody? Good evening from Panama. How's everyone tonight? I had a trying day today. A trying day. Stressed out. Having to deal with banks today. Don't we love dealing with banks? But all is good. Everything will be fine. I cussed out a bank person today. <laughs> I'd hate to be on the end of that call. <laughs> All I kept hearing was, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We're sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I can't stand banks. Oh, so that, that, that was wild. Uh, tonight I'm drinking. I, I, I ordered a whole bunch of cool stuff off of Amazon. Uh, celery powder, pomegranate juice powder. Uh, hibiscus um, tea all mixed together and with a little bit of a uh, um, stevia just right oh and dandelion root powder <laughs> so working on those kidneys working on those blood vessels uh, making sure uh, that I'm gonna be here around here for a long time to enjoy my massive crypto profits that will be here in the coming years and uh, be here for my kid and my family and just just be around for a while <laughs> just uh stave off anything that has to do with uh, uh heart problems or blood pressure or kidney issues if you guys have been around for a while you guys knew i had kidney issues back in uh, 2020 and 21 and i fixed those using dandelion root and hydrania root and um, a couple other things i was taking and uh, ten, I went from a sixty percent flow rate. I think it was sixty percent or sixty-six up to a hundred. Uh, hundred, I think hundred and ten is the max that you can score. And I scored a hundred about a year and a half ago. So healed my kidneys. They're not a hundred percent. You know, once you've damaged them, I guess you always have to deal with it. And having high blood pressure doesn't help. And I'm working on that. Uh, I have to let you guys know that uh, last night, uh, harmonic hexagon. Um, she, she and I had a call. I, I, she's a healer um, through sound, and it was absolutely amazing. She sung to me, or hummed, or whatever she did, for about an hour. And I'll tell you what. Afterwards, I could barely talk. <laughs> My mom's in the chat. We tried to have a conversation about thirty minutes after, and I was stammering. I was slurring my words. I was like, "What?" What did Harmonic X can do to me? <laughs> but I felt great. Uh, I was all flushed. My face was red. Man, this is all over. All I had was my nice Sony headsets on and and her just singing to me for for almost an hour. <laughs> no one's ever done that before. Uh, and it felt really good. So if you guys are looking for healing in that kind of respect, if you if you believe in the those kind of things and how it can have ramifications on your life, then check out what uh, Harmonic Hexagon is doing. She's on Twitter and, and a couple other places. She's up definitely in the No Permissions group. Uh, so if you if you join, come on over. Um, let, me, let me tell you real quick about uh, what's going on with No Permissions. So for now, I am having a deal where if you sign up for the whole year for the VIP, you get a 100,000 NOPE token. So that's about uh, $300 worth of nope and to spend to for the whole year it's like it's 15 percent off if you sign up for the whole year so right around 800 bucks i think um it will cost to join for the whole year and nope will 
you know, cover some of that fee, or you just let your note sit. And who knows? <laughs> In six months, it might just pay for the whole thing plus some, just like many of the no permissions users who who got the airdrops. Um, it costs the original no permissions was twenty dollars a month, so that was two hundred forty bucks, right? If you sign up for just one month and you held those tokens to today, those tokens today are worth two hundred and ninety five dollars as of today. So one month of no paid for the whole thing. And there's a lot of people who got 12 months worth. Who There's some people that paid two years ahead. <laughs> so they got a whole bunch of nope and they are holding holding fast. So if you sign up for a year right now, you get a 15% discount as well as you get 100,000 100, nope tokens. There you go. Let's see what you guys are saying in the chat. I'm gonna get rid of the brand stuff there. It's patreon.com backslash no permissions and it's under memberships. How do we? Get rid of this. I'm taking all that off. Tonight we're gambling. Let's see what you guys are saying in the chat. <laughs> Scott says he wants me to play Big Bass Splash. Maybe, yeah, Scott. Sounds good. Your mama's in the house. Hit the likes, everyone. Hello, mom. Hello, butt hog. Spin, spin, spin. <laughs> hey, Randy, reporting for class. Thanks for all you do for your community. Oh, you're welcome, sir. Hey, Randy and all. F the, F the web. That's right. F the web. Uh, Woo that! I community love y'all. Burdock is and dandelion root is helpful. Randy, yes, I was taking burdock root as well. Uh, burdock root, you can't do it all the time though. Um, I think that's burdock root and hydrania. You have to do, you can do both at the same time. You have to go back and forth. <laughs> INC going to make us wealthy. I sure hope so. I drink damp. What's damp, ma? Is it gamble night? Yep. So your day bad too. F crypto. All my shit coins getting spanked. How much longer for the dump, Randy? Well, <laughs> I've been talking about this oof, two years, saying that this period during the Bitcoin having would be very rough on our altcoins. And it always is. It's just how it is. Bitcoin starts to um, get the dominance going. And I thought it would go up to as high as 70%. I don't even know what Bitcoin dominance is. Somebody wants to check, let me know, put it in the chat. And uh, I think that it, it, after the halving, you're going to see dominance climb again, <clears throat> Bitcoin dominance climb again. And that'll be another chance or continued chance, I should say, because it's been rough for, for alts lately. But you're going to have a chance to really build up fat bags before the major run. And then, well, you know, Bitcoin will probably have a pullback at 100,000. I know I can't believe I'm saying 100,000 so easily. Because I remember when Bitcoin was seven dollars, <laughs> hundred thousand versus seven. Wow. So uh, yeah, so I think we'll have a nice pullback at a hundred thousand, and then it'll run to like crazy all time highs sometime in twenty twenty five. But when it has that pullback after hundred thousand, which could be like August, something like that, maybe July August, when it pulls back, that's when you're gonna start having our run in the alt, I believe. So I'm just going after. Uh, off of history, guys. I, I am not a genius by any means when it comes to this stuff. I just watch cycles. I just pay attention to what the cycles do, and they tend to repeat. History rhymes. That's just how it is. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Dandelion tea and cinnamon every day. I need to get... I forgot my cinnamon. 2020 was the same time frame you had a horse issue to a miracle. <laughs> Alexander. Yeah, that's when we were in Mexico. I was in Acapulco and we were doing a live stream with Discourse Syndicate. And my wife was next to me. Uh, she, you know, working on her computer right next to me. And she goes, Hey, check this. Look at this. This is funny as hell. And it was, uh, it was uh, the famous horse that I shared. <laughs> Poor RG3. He thought I was going to get him banned from YouTube. <laughs> oh, God. Ramon says, sound healing is amazing. Oh, yeah, it did something to me. Love, love, harmonica skin. Yes, it's beautiful. Wealthy and healthy, love it. Yeah, let's get there. Let's get there. Uh, hey, Randy Scott, Cuttings, Die Hard. Hey, believe in yourself, saying hi to everybody. Humming stimulates the vagus nerve. Mm -hmm. It uh, also increases your VO2, I believe. So um, that's the one that... Um, Works your blood vessels and you know gives make, makes you nice and stiff for us guys out there. <laughs> uh, God, 
could have been doing this wave. You were funny and I have been there and could relate to the great experience. Oh yeah, man, I was, that was that was something else. INC best meme with utility has special hidden features. We'll see. We we will see. I know it's going to do well. Um, and the one thing that I love about INC is that the OA doesn't have any, <laughs> or has very few. Who knows? I don't know if the OA is providing liquidity, or if they're just buying INC off the market. But uh, they're not like uh, Solid Hex. Solid Hex, I think he's got like thirteen percent of the supply of INC. <laughs> the man's a beast. He's been providing liquidity for so much of what's happening on Pulse Chain in this first year. Oh, thanks, that's the most better. BTC dominance chart is at 50%. That'll probably climb to 70, my guess, mm -hmm. in the next five months. And then it'll be our time to shine. Unless, of course, Sack Daddy comes out and just slapping it down on the table. <laughs> he loves he loves to pump our stuff when everything else is red. So let's see what uh, Sack Daddy does. <laughs> the other RHs. Thank you, Black Little Bat. Fast Abdul, what's going on? Fast Abdul, give us an update in the comments. When uh, there's two fucks, what's our, what, uh, how much are we at so far for the sacrifice? And when do you expect to wrap it up? Uh, Fast Abdul is the founder of Two Fucks, if you guys want to know. <laughs> A-E-I-O-U. All right. So my thing tonight, it is Easter, Easter weekend. The city was clearing out today. We, we, we had plans to go to the mall by the second airport to, to go do some shopping, pick up a new blender and stuff. Cause our blender one could put today. And, uh, and we gave up <laughs> I said, traffic is, the, this is crazy. We'll never get back for soccer practice. So we turned around and came home Man, the city was emptying out here in Panama. They're very ritualistic. They, they do the same thing every holiday and everyone just goes to the interior of the country, goes to the farms, goes to the beaches, goes up into the mountains and uh, chills for Easter. And this year is no different. Uh, this is, we call it Semana Santa here in Latino world. Um, and this week is the hottest week every year. This week is just ridiculously hot. And tomorrow we're supposed to have like 40 degrees, <laughs> 40 degrees Celsius, which is like 90, 92, 93. We're at the peak of summer here in Panama. Everything's brown, dry. You can see through the jungle. <laughs> and when in the wet season, you can't see through the jungle. Right now, you can see far. That's why you can see this time of the year is when you can see the sloths, the parrots, and all the other animals running around, you know. But I'm looking forward to the rainy season. I like rainy season. <laughs> it's cooler. Best Dool says sacrifice is over 1 million. Nice. They do have a cap of two and 45 days out. Cool. So if you are a Fux.io user and you like to vote to increase the APY of your favorite pools, like Nope, PLS, uh, Nope, please, <laughs> that's our pool, uh, you can throw votes at it or bribe people to throw votes at it using two Fux. And that will, looks like, what do you say, 45 days out-ish? Ooh, yeah. Can't wait. <laughs> Can't wait. That's going to be really cool. The Nope Permissions community is going to absolutely love that. Um, yeah. Very cool. Hex Monkey. What's up, sir? Michael Becker. Hey, Randy, I'll take Balboa. <laughs> it keeps me too with all the ashes better. Oh, God. yeah. Yeah. Balboa is our beer here in Michael. Our, our beer here in Panama. Michael's a fellow uh, expat living here in Panama. <laughs> Good dude. Oh, God. Yeah, Banks. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Easter spins. Let's go. Hey, Scott. Hey, maybe there is an Easter game. I have to look. I wonder if there's an Easter game. Master Duel says, nope, we'll get a big boost on Fuck's Yield from two fucks. Absolutely. I can't wait for that. I can't wait. I so appreciate your benevolent friend. He's an amazing friend. Yes, he is. Absolutely. I um, I got I got to tell you some stories. So there's a couple of the kids uh, in football or soccer. We call it football here in Panama. Um that are really close with Maximus. They're, they've been friends for a while. And when I launched Nope Token, I set aside some of the Nope Tokens to give to them when they're older, right? Because I truly believe Nope Token is going to be around for a long time and uh, the value will be up there. Uh, so what I'll do is um, when, at the peak of the market, I'll probably sell those tokens for them and put it to stables and I'll trade for them uh, through their childhood. They're, they're going to be friends with Max. They live in this neighborhood. Um, you know, they're, they're not 
expat kids they're, or they're not kids that are they're going to leave they're they're going to be here for a long time all right so i set some tokens aside from them already <laughs> there <laughs> there's kids these kids got thousands of dollars thousands and, and they're like six <laughs> because I, I set all these up when these kids were like when i launched note token back in december and and now just six months later we we're already back to our all our all time high, so uh, <laughs> it's just crazy, man. I, I was talking to the grandmother today of one of the kids, and I told her that I had a, I had a gift for her her grandson, and I told her how much it was worth, and she goes, "What? <laughs> They've never seen money like this." I said, "But listen, I said I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to manage it for them, and then in a couple of years, I I will get I will give you guys either keys or your your crypto." So, uh, or whatever it is, you know, cash, whatever they need if they don't know how to use crypto. But we'll take care of them. <laughs> just see her face. This lady, just she's she's um, the grandmother's Colombian. You know, the kid, the kid's Panamanian, but the grandmother's Colombian. Her eyes were just like, what? <laughs> I love surprising people with uh, with with dollar signs. It's always a fun thing because uh, those of us in crypto. If you don't, for a lot of you, if you don't realize, if you've been in crypto for three to five, 10 years, money to us looks totally different than somebody who's not in crypto. We're used to people talking hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars, that kind of thing. Like Solid Hex, the other day when he pumped Nope Token, he pumped it with 200 grand. 200 grand, just on a whim. He's like, messages me, we're on live stream. He's like, I'm pumping you now. I'm pumping Nope Token right now. I'm like, what? <laughs> It's so funny. And then when you deal with the regular world, people who aren't in crypto, it's just it's just bizarre. They're just like, what are you? How is that even real? <laughs> how did something go from uh, 500 bucks to $6,000 or $3,000 or whatever it may be in just four months? They, they just can't get it. It's wild. What's up, baby? Como esta? LOLs and those kids. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, oh, thanks, Ma. Thank you. Um, okay, so the, the 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 title tonight was "The Easter Rabbit is here to remind you to say nope to all the nefarious depopulation agendas." So I wanted to put that out there that there's a lot of bad stuff going on right now. We are at war. The world is at war. Um, they're not talking about it on the news, but we are. That ship that took out that bridge the other night was not by accident. Don't let them fool you. I live on the Panama Canal. I know about guide ships. I understand. I was in the Navy. I understand that a big ship like that does not go into port by itself. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they have helpers. You know, they always have tugboats right alongside. I have no idea um, how that ship got as far into the waters as it did without helper stopping it or, you know, making sure that didn't happen. Um, seen some videos that looked really suspicious, uh, like explosions further on down the bridge. There's some crazy videos coming out. So it uh, looks like it was either on purpose or it was active war. So uh, I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm praying for you guys up north in the U.S. that everything goes well, but uh, this this whole situation is starting to spiral out of control. So just prepare yourselves, fuel up your cars, uh, have some diesel for your generators if you have a generator, have a couple solar panels for your cell phones, um, those kind of things, because you just never know. You know, hell, I live in Panama and I'm 100% prepared. I mean, as good as I can be. You know, we always have we have three months worth of supply of food. Um, I got a beast of a vehicle, diesel. I always have it capped up full, you know, I fuel it up every week. <laughs> like I did today, I filled it up. Uh, and it can go, I think it's a thousand kilometers. So just, just be prepared. It's some bad stuff going on right now. And, uh, you know, the pedo wood stuff that's happening, you're just coming out, whether it with P Diddy and all that, and, um, they want to hide all that. Those politicians that are associated with these things, they don't want to be found. They don't want to be investigated. So they will find other ways to distract us from what's really happening. So uh, keep your ear to the ground, pay attention. There's a reason why I started Nope Token uh, to get the word out. Um, I would like to, I, I have to talk to uh, World Alternative Media, Josh Sigurdsson. I think Josh, uh, he's interested in joining the team to be a mouthpiece for Nope. And he's got one of the 
larger alternative news channels on Rumble. So um, we'll see if Josh wants to join us. And also one more thing before I go to games, because we're 20 minutes in, is that um, Red Squirrel and I, if you guys don't know who Red Squirrel is, he's the founder of Squirrels. Uh, he's um, He also worked with uh, Stu from Tetra. Uh, him and I are going to have a little Easter egg thing for you guys. Little gift. Yeah. Uh, for those of you guys, um, I, I'm not going to give out too much. We'll make the announcement over the next couple of days. And uh, people people who who qualify will be happy. All right. Bridge was absolutely an attack. For sure, man. That shit doesn't happen on purpose. I mean, it doesn't happen by accident. Well, they do. I mean, have you ever seen some of the YouTube videos with bridge with boats, ships hitting stuff? It's usually because the the pilot is drunk, the the captain's drunk. But those guys have harbor pilots. They have guide boats. They have all kinds of stuff. Yep. Yeah. And it happened uh, on the twenty sixth. The there was something about that date that was pretty pretty important. Exactly. Exactly, Remo. Compassion, what's going on, sir? The only thing that didn't make sense was why wasn't there tugs? I thought they had escorts into harbors. Exactly. We call those guide boats. Yeah. <laughs> Did I miss the trailer park discussion? <laughs> no, no, no. We have not discussed the trailer park yet. <laughs> what trailer park? The one my grandparents used to live in? <laughs> Good morning, Randy. What are we talking about today? Superman power to everyone. Hey, pineapple. Squirrel. That's right. Will the shipping suppliers be disrupted because of the bridge? Absolutely. East Coast, get ready for impact. That's what I'm saying. Supply, get your stuff now. I wouldn't wait. Yeah, you know, yeah, there'll be other ways, supply routes. You know, they can go into South Carolina, Philadelphia, Boston, New York. Uh, but that area, how many ports were, if I think it was eight, eight ports that are past that bridge that can't be accessed now, accessed? That's nuts. Yeah. That, was, that motherfucker was a ship, bro. <laughs> Those are the ones that go through the new Panama Canal. It was one of the giant container ships. Pulse Trailer Park rug pull. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No way. Oh, man. I, I didn't have a lot of it. I, I had, so I had liquidity, but. If you guys want it, I had some liquidity on a 9mm Pro. Take it. It's only a couple hundred bucks worth, but whoever gets it first gets it. <laughs> Take my liquidity. My God. Pull trailer park work pull. Are you kidding me? Ah. Footsteps. Boom. What's going on? All right. Enough is enough. The world's pissing me off today. <laughs> Hold liquidity because whales were selling, apparently. Ridiculous. What? <laughs> okay, so it wasn't a rug pull. It, they're still they're still out there talking. Okay, that that's that's a good sign. All right. Let's find bets.io. I can't stand rug pulls. How annoying. If if it ends up being a rug pull, but they the second time in two months that I've been rug pulled. One was beetroot and this, and I have never been rug pulled in my whole crypto career. Ever. You guys just saw my stuff here. Okay. Let's see if there's anything for Easter. Because it is Easter. Either Easter Eastern goddesses. No, no, no. Mammoth Chase Chase Easter edition. Uh wild Easter Easter eggs, Easter spin. Hmm. <laughs> Let's, let's see this. Let's see this. Lucky Easter by Red Tiger. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come on. This is not a game company that I usually play. So this is like a gangster rabbit. I like gangster rabbits. Okay, let me turn. Get rid of the music. All right. And whoops, too high. Do five bucks. Let's do auto. Let's do 50 to see if this thing 
does anything. All right. And there she goes. Let's do. <laughs> Slow rug, pull rug. <laughs> Uh, R.H. told us about people trying to take our coins. Oh yeah, absolutely. I totally agree. This is that time of the this is that time of the market when people are trying to get your coins. It's normal. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Drunk bunnies. <laughs> all right. If it rug makes sense why they went after all the community gatekeepers first to garner their trust by memeing them into a community cartoon yeah totally makes sense that was a smart play they knew what they were doing <laughs> gangster rabbit is in the house that's what he looks, what he looks like he looks like he wants to uh start some trouble <laughs> oh oh you see the jackpot on the side that's what that is um it has to be given out every hour so we got in the next 25 minutes or so, it needs to be given out. It's up to $471. Oh, what's happening? Rabbit, do something. Ah. I thought he was going to do something. Wow, this is really good, guys. Dandelion root, pomegranate, um, extract, hibiscus tea. <laughs> A little bit of stevia, mixing it all together. Hello, Corey. Good to see you. Uh oh, what's happening? Come on, rabbit, do something. I know, I know you want to do something. There we go. Bing, bing, bing. Oh, come on. Bonuses. This is okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Are these supposed to be wilds? I'll take it. What is this? What? Please be wilds. Oh. Okay. Oh, by the way, where did we start? <laughs> I don't even know where we started. Okay, that was a little bit lame. That would have been better than that. Okay. We started at about um, 1950, I think. And right now we're at 1940. Like I said, this is how it works. Whatever I win above and beyond, uh, we give it away. We give away half. Yeah, I hope I get a big prize too. 26 likes, 49. Let's get, yes. Yes. Okay, Scott. Okay. We'll go fishing. Yeah, bring on those bunnies. I'm hoping. I don't know what those luck. I thought those lucky Easter things were wild, but apparently they're not. I don't know what that means. I can't even tell how much. They were 1892. All right. Man, I'm really disappointed at the the. Pulse Trailer Park. I mean, it was a good meme, too. They could have had a lot of fun with that. I think I had, I, what I did with that one is when it did its first like 3X, I sold um, my initial, well, okay. I sold my initial investment and just kept the rest and I put some into, put some into liquidity, a 9mm Pro. Oh, I'm sorry, Scott. I messed up. <laughs> okay, after these 50 spins, we'll go. We'll go fishing. Hopefully, we get the bonus here. Do you want jackpot? Jackpot's 500 bucks. <laughs> Lucky Easter. <laughs> what a funny. The Easter Bunny rewards up to 20x multiplier. Okay. Come on, Easter eggs bonus. I still don't know what those lucky Easter things do. Does anybody have any questions? Let me go back to chat, see if anybody's got something to say. 
2007 started starting money today. What's that? What's that? What's they all say after this? We will we will go fishing. <laughs> hey, Frankie. Good to see you. Frankie, you missed it. I went, I had a uh, the guy from oh come on, money. Uh, from Tower Bank gave me a call today and I just shredded him. <laughs> just shredded his ass. He's asking me all this personal information. Oh my God. I'm like, I already gave you this information. You guys have all my stuff. You have copies of my IDs. <laughs> you have all these things. He's like, oh, I just want to verify. I said, you have copies. Why do you need to verify? <laughs> like, what the hell, man? Are you guys bored? Uh, the hourly is the bonus. So they have an extra bonus that's called a jackpot that everyone who's playing these games, they qualify for. Ah, we started the Gangster Rabbit with 2007. Ah, okay. Thank you, Footsteps, for being honest. All right. Yeah, this thing isn't uh, isn't paying us jack anything. <laughs> Frankie, yeah. Raul. Oh, man, I want to reach through the phone and choke him. <laughs> Oh, God, I don't want to be violent, but sometimes. <laughs> Why are you calling me again? How dare you call me and ask me such a dumb question? Oh, God. <laughs> uh, Crypto Bendu says, what about dick with butt? Is it too much of a dump or you see a massive potential? Uh, well, it's it's part of the HOA, guys, so they, they may it may do well. I, I hope for their sake it does. Um, I don't own any, and I won't own any. <laughs> oh god! Well, Crypto Bandu, I think that those kind of things apparently are going to do well here. They're they're doing just fine. So the soy boys over in Soy I love that shit. Come on, I'm not getting nothing. All right, let's go fishing. No, I'm not restarting your game. Thank you. Big Bass Flash. See, everyone loves Big Bass Flash. It's always it's always in the top ten most played games. Ooh, they got a tournament. Oops. Let me see. Turn the volume down there. Right. Oh, wait, I want full screen there. Right. Come on. There we go. Come on, fishies. Yes, it's bubbly. <laughs> Red crypto. <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be awesome. But I think our benevolent whale, um, unless he's watching it, I don't think he's gonna be pumping us every Wednesday night. That would be that would be something else though. Come on, hit it. Get the fishy. Crypto Bentu, if things don't improve, then piss toilets is what we deserve. <laughs> uh, maybe we can come. We'll do that one next week. Um, as far as uh, PulsePot is concerned, there is definitely an issue with Note Token on PulsePot. So I'm, I'll reach out to uh, Jacob and see if it can get fixed because it's not working at all anymore. I can't, I can't get Note to work with PulsePot. So... I'll work with them to get it fixed because I would love to do that instead of uh, always doing this casino. I would love to do some full spot. Randy, do you think ink will pump the most out of all the RH coins? No, no, I don't. Uh, X's, no. It'll feel like the most because it's got the it's got dollar signs already, right? It'll it'll feel like. It'll look like it's been a huge run up, but I still think that by the end of the run, 
end of the bull run, I think Pulse X would be the number one. Oh, really, Scott? Nice. Nice. Oh, oh. I love, I, I love this game. <laughs> it's so simple. Oh, uh, God. And you get the bonus pretty often. It seems to be more fair than a lot of the other games. Just kidding. Oh. It's okay, hit. We can use a $1,000 hit. I want another one of those nights where, like, we had when we won that 750 that one night. That was pretty cool. <laughs> it wasn't fair with you earlier, Scott. <laughs> Sorry, man. See, I could buy spins right now because I'm betting at $3. I can go buy the free spins for 300 bucks. But with this game, trying to get a $300 win would be pretty tough. I would say maybe a one out of one out of ten. So I'd rather just play the spins. There's some people who play these casinos and always all they do is uh, buy bonuses. And you know, I, I understand that's where you have the possibilities of having huge wins. Uh, but I, I would rather just do it the old-fashioned way, spin, 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 and maybe I get a big one. No, Scott, I'm not buying it, buddy. <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> Once in a while, you know, when I do it is <clears throat> I, I buy it when I want to check to see if a bonus is, bonus is worth it. It's worth playing. Like a new game. <clears throat> I can't believe it's Easter already. I'm going to be 50 years old in a couple months. What's going on? So those of you guys who do not know, I'm on this like real health kick. I'm working out every day. I'm walking, getting my between seven and 10,000 steps in every day. Uh, every other day I do... Um, <clears throat> a whole kettlebell workout loving it loving the kettlebells and got my um got my rebounder guys trampoline rebounder whatever you want to call it it is the best workout ever i don't feel sore after you know my knees don't feel sore my ankles like if i was trying to run uh, i still get my steps in but that thing is just freaking amazing i highly recommend getting rebounder and, uh, you know, because I'm so big, I had to get one that could handle bigger weight. So I bought one that goes up to 450 pounds. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> oh, Frankie, a blue con. Is that a, is that a rebounder? Freaking love it. Man. I think it's a Bellicon. Okay. I'm guessing that's a rebounder. I bought mine on Amazon. Had it shipped down to Panama. Yep. Rebounding is so good for you. It clears your uh, your uh, lymphatic system as well. It's really good for getting that stuff moving. The gravity, the... the geez, come on, bonus. We're not getting anything tonight. So when you go up, there's it opens up gates. When you go back down, it closes the gates up. Well, you know, there's no, there's no pump in your lymphatic system. It's just gravity. And uh, rebounding gets everything moving. Oh, thanks for steps. Appreciate it. Yep, Ramon. That's what I was just talking about. Yeah. Congrats on your health program, Randy. It shows on screen. Oh, I appreciate it, sir. It's going to keep showing. <laughs> My wife was walking behind me tonight on the sidewalk. And she goes, oh, babe, I, I could tell you're really losing weight. I said, what? I don't look like a Big Mac truck anymore, just a smaller version. <laughs> but the thing is, I, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not losing weight, I, I but I everything's fitting different, and that's that's when you know things are working. <laughs> Harvey says, my wife said I was a rebound. Is that good? <laughs> Harvey, man, you cracked me up. <laughs> oh, goodness. Wow. We're getting, we're getting beat up tonight. No bonuses. Are you eating healthy? Oh, absolutely. No fast food, uh, barely anything out at restaurants. If I go to a restaurant, I'll get a steak with, uh, you know, vegetables, 
and you know, I'm not doing carnivore or keto, anything of the sort, but I'm not having any um, processed carbs. So get rid of all the processed carbs. There's no soda, nothing with sugar in it. That's how I'm doing it. It's working out really well. When I was, oh, here, hold on, get that going again. Do 50 more spins. This thing better give us a bonus tonight. When I get some profit, I'm buying a new bed and couch, all broken like my body, getting that repaired too. Oh, crypto vending. We need you to win, buddy. Super X win. Hey, what's going on, sir? Mom, oh, thank you. Our Diaz must be skilled if you're if you caught her on the rebound. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I need to get my notes together to show up on time. What's up, guys? Hey, Bright Light. You're here. Yep, you're here. Bright Light is the founder of Yep Token. If you don't have Yep, I had it on Deck Screener. It's the antithesis to Note. It's the most agreeable token on, on Pulse Chain. Jungle Gym and the Lost Sphinx is an amazing game. Have you tried it? No, I haven't. No, I'll have to look at it. Scott, are you in the U.S., man? If you're, you're not supposed to be playing this casino money. You know, you know yet. You're not supposed to be doing that. You're breaking the law. <laughs> oh my god! All right, come on, Big Bass. Big Bass is paying us ass tonight. Ah, you're Canadian. Ah, so that's why you can play. All right. You'd have to use uh, if you were in the U.S., you'd have to use a uh, VPN. I love it. it. Takes ETH. You choose when when you join up in this casino. I think it's it's bets.io. When you when you join up, you just pay with uh you pick a cryptocurrency to use, and uh, you can use ETH, USDC, USDT. You know, I think even more obscure ones like altcoins. So our tick, our I bought all our tickets. We are we are going to Spain at the end of May. And then Malta in, in the beginning of June. So if you guys are going to be around, let me know. Head out. We'll have coffee or something. So you guys won't believe what I did the other night. The ass hat that I am. So we use I'm a hotels.com platinum member. Been with them for a long time. And uh I booked my I booked all our hotels. Like uh, the first 10 days of our hotels in, you know, Madrid, Barcelona, and and uh, Sevilla. And I, I booked them, and then I realized that I booked in the wrong month. <laughs> I booked everything in July, and we're going in May. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, what do I do? And before, uh, just the last time I booked, and just uh, three months ago, you could book your tickets, and then if you can't, if you had to change the dates, you just canceled. And they had a, a cancel before date, and there would be no charge, right? And that's what I would always do. That sometimes we want to stay in a, a city longer, we just extend, and then we would, uh, you know, change the dates for the hotel. And now, Hotels.com says you have to pay twenty seven dollars when you book your hotel in order to have the ability to change the dates. If not, you're you have you you lose your your booking. I was like, oh my god, did I just throw twenty five hundred bucks to the wind? <laughs> just <laughs> we just throw out the window. You know that meme where where the kid from a what's that little kid from that old TV show with the kids where he's throwing the money out the window? I can't remember his name, but whatever. That's how I felt, and then I, I wrote. I wrote the folks at uh, Hotels.com. I said, look, it's it's 1 a.m. I, I shouldn't have been booking these things at this time of the night. You know, my mistake and that kind of stuff. So they said, okay, we'll contact the hotels and, and see if we can fix this for you. And uh, thankfully they did. And, and they rebooked. But the thing is, I've been a client with Hotels.com all these years, and I never had to pay a fee in, to have the ability to get my money back or, or to cancel a booking. And I was pretty pissed. So I wrote them today after we had already changed everything. I'm like, when did this rule change? I mean, this isn't a, you guys aren't taking care of the client anymore. This is kind of bullshit. And if you guys don't know, Hotels.com was bought out by Expedia. Um, so maybe that's why. 
Ah, oh, bonus. Yeah, crypto vendor gambling is down. YouTube asks for your pronouns. Oh, yeah, they all do it now. LinkedIn does it. I know that's for sure. Did Orox ever give out the NFT for signing up for their wallet last year? Oh, yeah, I think so, TechSex. But those guys, they've got their issues too. They got robbed by Qcoin. They lost not a ton, but they you know got taken advantage by Qcoin. You guys saw Qcoin's got a lawsuit right now. <laughs> Paul, always looking for the positive, the positive side. There you go, buddy. I like to say a lot to Randy, but it will have to be another time. Hey, footsteps. Ah, uh, no problem. Home alone, kid. All right, cool. It was on Arbitrum. Well, not looking good, guys. We didn't get any bonuses. Are you kidding me? So Orox is still waiting to get a permission to get listed on the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, if they get listed, I imagine the token's going to fly. I've still got a couple hundred... No, or an Orox token staked and the Orox website that I've had staked since 2020. And uh, hopefully someday those will be worth something again. Uh, at the peak in 2021, they hit $300 each. Now they're like six bucks. <laughs> they, were, they were staked and locked up, so I couldn't do anything with it. But I guarantee I would have sold if they were unstaked. Oh, man. It went, they went from like seven up to 300 now they're all the way back down to six come on 17 more spins and i'm cutting it loose guys come on. well i hope everyone has a great easter um, tomorrow night we have our strategy call. So if you're not in the no permissions group, come on and join. Uh, yesterday, Hex Ray Vision and Captain RG3 both joined no permissions. So we're starting to get some celebrities, Kinetics, uh, Crispy Ben. Uh, you know what I love about our, our group? So much less bullshit. <laughs> you know, we because it's a paid group, it's like way less bullshit. People are real serious in there. So I love that aspect. Look, Scott said he should have bought the voters. Yeah, thanks, Scott. But then we would have been done in two minutes. All right. That's it. Okay, guys. That's it for tonight. I'm wishing all of you guys a wonderful Easter. And... Uh, if you're not in the Patreon group, I guess I'll see you on Sunday night. Cheers. <laughs>